Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the CRUD REST API using the Prisma, Next.js and the MongoDB. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So let me open my VS Code, <coughs> go to the terminal and let's do in change the node version in VM use 20. Okay, so node version is 20 now. Let's create a directory. So here we go with the npx create next tab. <coughs> so it will give you the next JS app. After this, go to that directory. Now go to the directory. Let's go and install the npm packages, Prisma client and the Prisma. Okay, let's we have to build the schema. <coughs> so let's run npx Prisma in it to generate the prisma configurations file let's open the code here we go with the prisma and let's change it to mongodb okay let's go to the env let's change the connection string at the same time okay so here we have the connection string so let's copy and paste this if you have the username and the password so make sure you have to change the connection strings accordingly okay so currently my mongo don't have the username and the password so it directly connect with this one save this go to the next command then we have to go with the npx prisma generate to check that the connection string is correct or not let's run this <coughs> okay we don't have the model currently right so model user uh, you can define the model like this so let's copy and add this model okay so model is missing so let's add it email so currently we have the model name and the email right so here we go with that one so name and the email okay save this viewer trap okay so this is done let's go to the command line and let's run generate so it will generate now let's go with the npx migrations to create the table migrate <coughs> dev okay okay there is another command that is db push right this will not work npx prisma db push for the mongodb let's run this okay so this is oh mongodb is not started yet so i need to restart the mongodb sudo mongodb uh, restart sudo service might be let me check the previous command so here we have the sudo service mongodb sudo service mongod sorry okay so this is done connection timeout because of that one so let's run the db push command now you duplicate key index build okay okay i think migration file is already generated Why it says command fail error code duplicate key. 
duplicate key error correction mark please mom go user index user email key duplicate okay so let's uh, remove the duplicacy here we have adding, adding the unique part so for now just remove it and let's run it okay <coughs> this is done because maybe the previous one has a duplicate records that's the reason so this is done let's go and create the rest api <coughs> so in the app in the app we have to create a folder name api then we have to create a new folder here with the users now we have to create a new file with the name route.js <coughs> and in the users we have to create the id param to for the id fetching id <coughs> and in this we have to create a new file that is route.js so this is added let's add the code for the current rest api so i think i have built in the previous one this is id so let's control a control c let's add this here that is the id one and if i go to the another file so let's add this also <coughs> so i think this is done so here where we have passed the parse int i need to remove this one because uh, it is connection string so it's it is a string right so it's not a parse int so this is done let's go and just restart the app <coughs> npm run dev okay so here we go with this one let's go to the postman let's create some of create the rest api flow <coughs> okay so first we gave it the post request let if we have the rr and this let's try to send this and this is id with object id let's add the another one that is rajnikant and rajnikant over here let's try to send this is added let's go to the robo mongo to check the records so here let's connect and here we have the prisma mongo where it is prisma mongo collections and we have the users view and records and here you can see rajnikanth at the red millimeter and previous one is rr record so this is added right <coughs> so this is post request so here we go with the routes api users routes.js right so here we have the post request so first request is the json so in the terminal also you can see that the name and this the two records so this is the json exception then in the data we are extracting the name destructuring the name and the email with the help of the prisma.user.create we are going to create the record then it will return the record which i have created if something goes wrong it will go to the next block and it will show that the internal server error with the status code 500 okay another one that is the get api where we have prisma.user.findmany so it will fetch all the records of the users and return the users list if something goes wrong it will go to the next catch block and it will give you the message with the internal server error with the 500 status code right so if i go to the get request and let's try to send it and here you can see the list of all records we have right you can see <coughs> the records okay so this is done let's have a put request also at the same moment so here we go with the postman and let's update this record which last record which you can add the millimeter okay so let's add this record and make a put request and let's try to update with the here we are going to replace with the John to okay let's try to send it and let's it is updated let's go to the here and let's view the documents and here we go the last record will you change into the John Doe right <coughs> so this is updated let last one that is the delete so let's check the update part also so here we go with the ID params ID ID route.js so here we're accept 
accepting the JSON. Okay, then uh, the params from the request params, we are accepting the ID. And on the behalf of the ID, we are going to update the name or the email. Okay, so prisma.user.update will help you to update the record. Right, then it will return the updated record. If something goes wrong, it will go to the cache block with the internal server error 500, right? Next, we have a delete request. So here we require the params.id and with the help of the prisma.user.delete where you want to delete with the record. So mention it the ID and then it will record, it will return you the deleted record. And if something goes wrong, it will go to the internal server error. Okay. So let's go and check this one. <coughs> so let's make a delete request and uh, send deleted and here you can see this record sixth record needs to be deleted right so here we go only five records are there that means the current rest of api has been done with the next js prisma and the mongodb <coughs> any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day